All right, so we made it through the damn battle bridge. But at what cost? Snake is dead. And that was completely my fault. I really should not have gone for an electric move against that uh, ground type, and I paid the price for it. So, that's a damn bummer. I was literally on the last trainer before finishing this off. But, uh, you know, shit happens. And we're going to continue on here. So, uh, we have arrived in a new city here. This guy's got a damn weird-looking Sil Valley. What you got there, champ? I love Steel-type Pokemon. They're strong and very helpful to move the containers. Here, take this. It will raise your love to Steel-type Pokemon, too. Nice. So, we get a Metal Coats. Um, so I assume the next gym is going to be Steel type, which is kind of cool. First things first, we got to head to the Poke Center and obviously bury our dead friend Snake. Quite sad about that because it was like my favorite member on the team, and uh, I probably should have been a little bit more safe with that. But you know, he lived a good life. We gave him the best life we could. Sorry about that, Snake. We'll place you there, and we do get to grab somebody new though, which is good. Um. I'm kind of wondering what I should uh, what I should do. I, I kind of want to bring this here, this hill, your kelp buddy, this old diet doctor kelp. We're gonna bring you actually, because I'm interested to see what this thing turns into. It's only level 22, so we're kind of gonna be set back a month for now, which is unfort. But you know, that's all right. We have dart in front. We are gonna get a nice little heal up, and then time to go explore around, see what the city's got for us. Um, we don't really have too much for steel type Pokemon, considering I actually also killed. My damn fire ground type too, but we do have, uh, I mean, Happy's, I guess, pretty decent. Can Dart learn a ground move? If we could learn a ground move, that would be great. I think I actually have, yeah, I have Bulldoze. This could be good for us to teach somebody. Um, and, all right, actually, no, no, Dart would be a terrible mod to teach that to because he's primarily a special attacker. This thing's stats are crazy. It has, like, no physical attack. It's got 31, and then its special attack is 78. Uh, Happy, on the other hand, is a great physical attacker. We're actually going to teach you Bulldoze. It seems like Happy is going to be kind of our ace moving forward here. So we are going to teach Bulldoze to you, sir. And that's going to help us a lot uh, with some Steel types. So we'll get rid of... Uh, we're going to get rid of Aerial Ace for now. We can always teach that back later, but for... I mean, honestly, we never really use Aerial Ace. Not the best for coverage anyway. So now we have Bulldoze, and that's pretty solid. All right. So let's check out what's going on in the quest area. Hello, sir. My name's Kirk. I'm a worker from Jewel Mine. I love my work, but in the breaks, I really love to drink some Bawul milk. <laughs> what? My stock is depleted. If you could bring me five Bawul milk, I'll give you a Pokemon. Sure. Okay, so we actually do get a free Pokemon from this guy. Uh, we get this dude some milk. He needs some milk. I'm waiting here for a trainer who can help me. I have a Weed Sea, but when I trained it, it ran away because it saw a Shrub Sea, which it loves the most. Can you help me search for my weed sea? Sure. Uh, so we'll accept that quest as well. I heard they, they live on beaches. Maybe it's there. Well, we gotta go look for that lady's weed sea. I don't know how the hell you managed to lose it, but that's fine. Anyway, we're here in docking port. And uh, I want to be captain of a ship when I'm older. Cool. So I guess we could probably just check out what's going on in some houses and stuff. There's a legend about Pokemon that controls the flow of the Earth's seas. Without this Pokemon, the sea would have no currents or flow. And would just stand still. Is that Pokemon called the moon? So we got this house here. What's poppin', y'all? My man is a big fan of all starter Pokemon. He learned how to teach them a special combo move. Well, unfortunately, I did kill my starter Pokemon, so that's no fun. Big fan of Rakoto starters. Yep, teach them a special combo move. Your starter Pokemon should be very happy for sure. Don't have a starter Pokemon on your team. What a shame. So we don't get to do anything here, which sucks. What's happening, little guy? So watching a TV that's off, huh? Dad can teach your starter Pokemon a cool move. All right, yep, that's... Pretty much the extent of what you get from this house. We don't want to mess with that. So we continue. Um, there's probably... There's another house over this way. Looks like a pretty big city. Kind of uh, real uh, real modern city we got here. Docking Port is a small town, but we're very important for the trade in Rakoto. Okay, I guess it's not too big of a city. It's apparently a small one. But okay. <laughs> What's up? It was so scary. What are you talking about? Sitting by that cargo container in a wild Pokemon jumped out and scared us. Holy shit, what the hell? What is this thing? Uh, okay, so do we get to battle this thing? Um, I guess we'll leave Dart in front. What the hell's What's going on with this thing? Hello? Alright, and it just attacks us. And here we have a Psytrick, level 25. Um, it looks like, it reminds me of those Pokeballs from the first movie. Uh, where Mewtwo sends them out. I don't, I don't know. Well, so I don't want to kill this damn thing. Let's go for... Let's just go for a Metal Claw. We have no physical attack. We should be good here. 
Okay, it does nothing because it actually resists it. Now it's going to go for a shockwave, but we have Volt Absorb, obviously. What type is this damn thing? I, it does count as a legal encounter, so we can catch this motherfucker. Going for a magnet bomb. Is it it's probably just a, a steel type, but which makes sense. Is it resist rock? It doesn't. We get a flinch. And uh, time to throw some balls at this thing. This thing is actually pretty damn cool. So let's try to catch it in a dusk ball. This thing seems like it would live in a dusk ball. It's literally a pokeball with a, with a body. And unfortunately, we are not able to catch it with the dusk ball. Damn it. Going for a side beam. So I'm assuming it's a, probably a steel psychic type, which is pretty damn cool. Might have to just add this thing to the team. If we can actually catch it. Let's go for a... I want to catch it in a cool ball. Let's go for a timer ball, which is a terrible idea. But there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Okay, yep. Definitely not going to work there. You know what? I actually could have gone back and grabbed the uh, Pokeball button that that one dude was making out of our Apricorns. You know what? Fuck it. We're just going with the handy dandy Ultra Ball. When in doubt, send out the old yellow boy. And we do get it in the Ultra Ball. So this thing has just been harassing people by the damn dumpsters. We do grow to level 33 there. So, oh, it's a Psychic Electric type. Uh, artificially created Pokemon, but no one has come forward claiming it's to be its creator yet. Rumors say it was created by aliens. So, that's pretty cool. Um, we're going to name you Marvin. Because you remind me of a Marvin, and he's an alien, so he's starving Marvin. I don't know. It's our buddy Marv. <laughs> um, I do actually want to add this thing to the team. Not sure if it's really going to be any good, but we got one, so that's fun. And it disappears. There you go, people. I just saved you. Cargo container. Yep. Okay, it was actually cargo container. Obviously not a dumpster. That's fine. Same shit, though. All right, let's go check, let's go check this thing out. Um, so we actually just lost our electric type, and we got ourselves a new one. So that's actually kind of cool. Oh, I accidentally hit... Oh, no. I hit the right thing. We were supposed to organize. Okay, so here we have our uh, thing. Marvin here has four worn. Uh, we're gonna actually switch out Weed Z because you know you're just a little bit lower level, so we're gonna go ahead and put you in the old box one. And let's take a look at this thing. We might as well, might as well use her. She's pretty cool. Young Marvin. It's adamant nature. It has forewarn with some. I mean, it's unfortunate that it's adamant because it has way higher special attack. Damn it! Confusion, shockwave, magnet bomb, and side beam. So it looks really cool, and that's what we're all. That's what we're all about. We're going for them cool designs. So, uh, nice. Anyway, uh, let's check out some more of what's going on here. On the seas, you get to see so many water-type Pokemon. I love it. Y'all got any milk? I need to bring some dudes some milk. Seems like an odd request, but homeboy's thirsty. Found this on the beach. I don't know what I could use it for. You can have it. And we got ourselves a heart scale. Nice. If there's a move relearner somewhere, uh, we could get ourselves uh, some unique moves, which could be cool. Sup. Please don't disturb me while I'm playing Pokemon Ranger. Oh, all right. Sorry, lady. Day busy in here. Okay, we got just a granny hanging out here. I love this little port, watching the boats come and go. Nice, so, uh... Uh-oh, uh something's going down over here. Captain, what's happening? Oh, hey there. My name is Sammy, but people all around here call me Sailor Sammy. I take people across the water to Waytide City whenever they need. But the problem is that I left my keys to the boat back at the house in High Point City. If you can grab them for me, I'll surely take you across the water to Waytide City. You'll do that? Awesome. Also a gym at High Point City, so I guess that all works out for the both of us. Nice. Okay, so we gotta go to... Can't find me at the pier. We gotta go to High Point City. Let's see what we're working with here. High Point is... Uh, so we have the Jewel Mine down this way. So High Point City just down and to the left. Uh, we came from this way, the Battle Bridge. So we came from Orshore Town. And it looks like after we hit this, we're kind of... I'm assuming we're probably gonna get Fly. What, have you, what is even over here? Coralite Town. So we haven't been anywhere over on this side of the map. Looks pretty cool. Sailport Town. Alright, so we got all sorts of stuff we need to do. Um, we can actually head over this way where there's some boats chilling. Found my boat keys? Nope, I have not. It's only been like 10 seconds. Hoping to set sail soon. I'm just waiting for my boat to show up. What are you doing, kid? I don't care about boats at all. Look at how many boats there are. I see I see two, but... You know. <laughs> I brought my kids here to see all the boats. Nice. Well, not a whole lot of interesting people hanging out over there. So, uh, I guess we'll just kind of continue to look around this place, maybe go down to the mine, and, uh, oh, what do we got over here? Got ourselves a Pokeball. Found a big pearl. Um, I'm wondering, is this where we're supposed to get that lady's weed sea? There it is. We found it. Could be the weed sea of the girl at the Pokemon Center. Do you want to bring it back to her? Sure do. 
So we'll grab that. And uh, we'll go see what this lady's got for us. That was like the easiest quest ever. Your weed seed's just hanging out at the beach, you lazy asshole. Could have gone and picked it up yourself, but no, we'll do it for you. Because we're just a fantastic guy. Hello. That's my weed seed. Thank you. You're an awesome trainer. Take this for your effort. Obtained a big root. So, uh, cool. <laughs> I guess that was worth our time for a big root. We'll take it. Just doing good deeds. That's what we do best. Okay. Uh, oh, it's this freaking guy. Do we want to talk to you yet, though? We don't want to talk to you yet. What's happening over here? You'd like to use the cable car to get to High Point City? Could, but there's a technical problem at the moment. Of course there is. Sorry. Everything's always freaking broken, man. Here we find a full restore. Just somebody just left a full restore right there. That's expensive. We'll take that. I've trained my bud chirp very hard. With its new move, it will be unbeatable. You should try this too. And we obtained TM51 for Steel Wing. Uh, so there is actually no gym in the city, it looks like. That's unfortunate. It's going to be in high point, though. So, good to know. I love boats. When I'm older, I will become a sailor. You got anything for me, lady? Husband's a sailor. He often travels between Kanto and Johto. And you got an empty trash. So, you got to love when there's nothing going on in the houses, damn it. So, lady that gave us freaking... Steel wing, and uh, it looks like the only really thing for us to do now is to talk to our red-haired friend here. What's up, buddy? So you made it. That's a surprise. Let's battle now. I'll show that I'm always better. I don't understand. He says he's always better, but we, Rick, we've beat your ass a couple times already. This guy doesn't even know what the hell he's talking about. All right, Rick here has five Pokemon. Oh, sweet Jesus. He leads off with a Rexite, which is something we have not seen before, and Dart is actually hurting from that last battle, which I forgot to heal. So, we're going to need to switch the hell out of here, and we'll just go right into Happy. Seems like the safest bet. Not sure what the hell Rexite does, but looks pretty badass. No match for my freaking Emperor Penguin, though. The headbutt don't hurt me, buddy. We're just going to bubble beam your ass, because he probably ground type. Does knock it out in one hit. Happy is uh, freaking clutch, man. Charlotte does have the EXP shard girl level 33. Next is a Dynamite. Um, we will switch out for Dynamite. Let's go into Dracula for this thing. Um, this guy's probably going to have some crazy ass evolved shit. We maybe should have prepared a little bit more for this, considering we lost a Pokemon last time. But we did pretty good on that Battle Bridge. Everybody had some really high level stuff. Uh, Acrobatics does actually knock this thing out in one hit. See you later, Dino. This guy's got some cool ass dinosaur Pokemon, though. Next is an Orature. That's the. Um, that's that other dinosaur thing, I think. We'll go back into Happy. This guy seems to have a lot of ground types, so Happy's probably going to be just bubble beaming up a storm here. Yep, Orichur does not like bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Yep, okay, we're just one hit KO and everything. Pretty damn glad that I got Happy up to level 34. Next is a Caspering, which is something we have not seen before. Um, we're going to go into Dracula, though, because... Dracula does not mind taking bites out of stuff. Cast Spring. I don't know. We have seen Cast Spring. Never mind. We, we're familiar with this little lad. We should have gone for a flying move for sure because it's just a damn bug type. But we actually avoid the Steel Wing. Look at them little ass wings. That's why we avoided it. Oh, we're just going to finish it. Ooh, Mega Kick, huh? Look at them thick ass thighs. This thing's Mega Kick probably hurts like a bitch. But it missed twice. So does this thing have like the hustle ability or something? What's up with that? We do grow to level 34 there and trying to learn Crunch. Freaking finally. Now we can get rid of Bite, which is great. And uh, now we can have 80 power instead of 60. And things are looking up for us, boys. Very nice. And next is a Parafull. Um, electric Boy, I'm pretty sure. Should we try to go into Ghost? Is that the Electric Flying thing? Let's try to go into Ghost here. We're only level 30, actually. Probably a terrible idea. I oh, know. God, I, I really need to, <laughs> need to do better. Trying to learn the, the names of these damn things. It's this freak. We've seen this a bunch of times. Uh, two ice shards will do the trick. It's just going to Fury Swipes us, so that's fine. With our Eviolite, we at least... Jesus, it takes... Oh, my God. Well, luckily, it only hits three times. But we can just finish you with an ice shard. Ghost is way too frail, man. we gotta we got to do something about you, Ghost. Honestly, if I was smart, I would probably just leave the EXP chair on this thing until it evolves. But, hot damn. Well, we defeated Rick. I'm still better. You're ignorant, boy. Luck was on your side again. It doesn't matter. High Point City is next for me. I've heard of heard of a sailor on the pier who sails you to Route 9, but I don't want to help from anybody. I think it's more for some weakling like you. Man, this guy's a dick. I just want to punch you right, right in the nose, buddy. Well, so before we continue that way, we should probably get a nice little heal, because I assume we're going to get into some uh, 
some interesting battles down that way assuming we get some new pokemon we're heading to a new city already we've just run running through cities these days we haven't gotten anything haven't really hung out in a city for too long in a while but i guess high point's probably gonna have a lot for us to do so we'll just leave dart in front probably level 33 uh, we also have charlotte with the exp share we'll get charlotte up to 34 we'll take the exp share off and give it to our uh, our buddy marvin so let's head down this way let's see what we got over here trash can just in case and it's empty of freaking course it is all right so here we are at route six this is a new route so we can catch the first thing we come across is that the grass that i want to go for i think it is let's see what we got over this way we do find a full restore so they've hooked us up with a couple free full restores that seems like we're gonna get into some scary stuff anyway our first encounter here is <laughs> a moose stone look at this cow it has a freaking scarf on i don't know how i feel about this thing not quite sure how to feel about Moonstone. Um, just gonna go for a rock tomb. So I assume this thing is probably a rock type. It's got a, it's got stone in its name. It kind of looks like a rock. It's brown as hell. And we do whittle it down a decent amount. So focus energy, huh? Okay. Let's just throw some balls at this thing. I don't know if I really want to use Moons Moonstone. I keep wanting to say Moonstone, but you know we'll catch it just in case. It's never a bad idea to have extra mons in the old box. And we do catch it first try. So, cool. Some rocky milk. Moosestone trots around Rocky Mountain, so it's a normal rock type. Headbutting each other, uh, both for fun and to hone their res resilience. Rocks caught between two would simply crumble into dust. Well, old Moosestone over here. What the hell should we name you? Um, we're just going to name you Malk. M-A-L-K. Why not? <laughs> Probably never going to use this thing, but we got it, so... That's something. What else to watch? Second encounter is going to be something badass. It is! What the fuck, Tapire? This thing looks way cooler. Damn it, why does the universe hate me? I, I really want this thing. <laughs> That's annoying. Tapire, it's a... Uh, assuming it's a fire type. A little weird-looking anteater kind of elephant thing. I don't know. Well, we got a freaking cow, so... That's just my luck. Anyway, let's put Ghost in front, actually. Because I think we do have a Hiker guy up here, which we might be decent against. It's actually probably a bad idea to do that, because he's going to have rock types or something. We're going to actually switch. Let's go with... Um, we're probably just going to keep Happy in front. It seems like the safest option here. There are a lot of fire types around this place. Well, that is good to know. We're not going to leave Hus our Husk Pup in front, then. Hiker Luke here has two Pokemon. He does have a Moosestone, level 27. Um, shiny boy comes out of sparkling. We're just gonna bubble beam your ass. Moosestone better evolve into something crazy cool, because that is not the best design I've seen so far. Next is another Moosestone. So he's, <laughs> he's coming at me with the Akimbo Moosestones. Love to see it. Bubble beam, critical hit, does not matter. But you are dead. So any experience is good experience, I guess. These guys burned out. Well... I really should have right, ran through this grass for my encounter, damn it. Um, but this takes us... Look at these fucking guys. What are these dudes doing? Hello? That's what I got. This guy over here. We should probably go back the other way. Seems like this is probably the way to go. As we do have a backpacker here. I'm on my way to High Point Gym, but I need to train. Let's battle. So we should do all the battles we possibly can. We do have some, uh, some grinding up to do, considering we lost Snake... We gotta make up for some lost ground here. We do need to eventually grind up our new our new electric type. I guess it is good to still have an electric type, though. Uh, the team is still looking good. We're definitely looking better than we were like a couple episodes ago, so that's good news. And a bar ball. The hell is a bar ball? All right, a little poison lad. Okay, we're gonna give you a bulldoze. See how much how much that does. Does knock it out. So. I don't think we... Is that the fully evolved form of uh, Stotox or whatever? I don't know. I guess we'll never know. Got ourselves a free ether. We'll take that. Thank you. And now we're down where the... These freaking dudes are. What's up, guy? Hey, this is our private place. Okay, so I guess if I just click on him this way, we can battle him single, individually. I don't know if it was going to be a double battle anyway, but... It's always safe, a safer option just to go with the single battles, because it seems like in double battles I always do just awful. That's probably why I don't play VGC. Let's be real. 
Bulldoze does heck up your bar ball, and Happy is pretty damn OP at this point, to be honest. It doesn't seem like these people actually have fire types. You know what? Let's, let's try to put Husk Pup in front and see if Ghost can actually do anything. We're level 31, so I think we're in a pretty good spot. What's up? You can't pass. You shall not pass. Chandler over here just has one Pokemon. It's an Irimp. No idea what the hell this thing is. It has Cloud9, I assume. Why does it look so small? Assume you're like a ghost flying type. Let's just go for an ice shard and see what happens. Level 28, huh? Okay, that does absolutely nothing. It hits us with a mirror shot, and ouch, that is going to do over half. So, we do not want to hang around with this thing. Let's go into Charlotte. Let's see if Charlotte can do it. Definitely been neglecting the old spider lately. Air cannon. Okay, it is actually a flying type, which was a terrible idea to go into a bug type. But I think it, it looks like it's a ghost type, so maybe Crunch will destroy it. Critical hit. Not very effective. All right. I really, uh, <laughs> really messed up on that one. This thing is not, is it not what I thought it was. What the fuck is this thing? We'll go into, well, let's let Dracula do it. You know, we're just spreading the love all around. I don't want anything to die. I really got to try to play it safe here because in Nuzlocke's, once you lose stuff, it just, I've noticed there's a trend where you just continue to just lose everything. We're just going to, we're still going to crunch you, even though we know you resisted, it'll probably kill you, and plus we'll get some health back. No, it doesn't even kill it. My god, this Irimp is an absolute unit. It looks like it would be so easy to just, just kill. Like, what, what the fuck, buddy? Air cannon and shit? Please die. It looks like the face of a chandelier. Well, we have done it. Hecking finally. And uh, we should probably heal. Getting ourselves experience all around. Charlotte does grow to level 34. This guy just says no. He ain't having it. Uh, let's actually go ahead and put the EXP share on our new buddy Marvin, actually. Charlotte, you're level 34 now. You can you got your big girl pants on big boy pants on. He thought he were a girl. But now we're gonna give it to Marvin. Here you go, friend. You enjoy this EXP share. You just kick back and let us do the work for you, buddy. Alright, let's heal up here before we continue. Should probably have picked up some more. Now we have a bunch of four restores and hypers. So we're just going to use these here super potions, which we don't really need anymore. So, got to get Husk Pup back to full. And Husk Pup is way too weak to use. I honestly... It's, it's, a, it's a hazard every time using this little damn thing. We'll put Dart in front. See what this guy's got for us. What's up, friend? Just a bunch of bald dudes hanging out. I missed the bald guys meeting. Who are you? This is our secret lair. You don't have permission to be here. I'm not bald, so I'm not welcome here. All right, Kruka got... He has a crocodile on his back. But, uh... Crocodile's not even a thing in this game. Um, so is this thing freaking steel type? I still... Do not pay enough attention to realize what the fuck this thing even is. Take down, it's not gonna quite kill itself with the recoil because it did nothing to us. Dart, Dart is really good. This thing is just bulky as shit. It's got a really good typing too. I think Dart is gonna be... It's definitely gonna be one of our MVPs, that's for sure. So we do knock this thing out. Next is a bar ball. And we're gonna stay in on this thing. I don't think bar ball has much for us. It's kind of like a, uh, a deformed whirlipede, but you know, that's fine. Doesn't quite... Do enough with the rock moves. This thing's pro okay. Jesus, gyro ball hurts. This thing's probably um, steel poison, I assume. So you know, when in doubt, we're just gonna go into happy and kill it. Cause happy can freaking kill everything unless you explode or something and then get a crit. It's gonna be a bad time. So gyro ball. This thing must be pretty damn slow, cause that's doing a lot of damage. Jesus. Does not like ground moves though. With that typing. Take that, bitch. I wish there was a uh, a good special ground move that Dark could learn. Okay, we are going to go ahead and use another super potion here. We'll get you back up to full, buddy. And moving right along here. Lots of trainers. Lots going on on this route. Uh, but this just takes us to a couple of apricorn trees. We will grab those because why the heck not. And then there's also an item there. So, you know, we'll take some free shit. You know what? Fuck it. We're not even grabbing these red ones. We have way too many apricorns. We're never going to use them ever. Oh, we find a rare candy here, so that's nice. We will certainly take that. And we can just jump past that, which actually should probably head up over this way because we did miss some stuff. Do we battle you yet? We have not. A challenge. Yes, sir. You about to get challenged, Mr. Backpacker. Cameron out here just living off the land. He's got a kidlet. Look at this little guy. 
It's almost a shame to kill this thing. It's freaking adorable. A little Bambi boy with candles on his head. Kidlet. <laughs> quite the, uh, quite the name that thing has. Get ourselves some experience. Next is another Irimp. We're just gonna go right into, um, it's gonna go right into Happy. Because why the heck not? I love the, the shiny animation. It's really cool. This thing has Cloud Nine. Only it seems like a couple. Only a couple of these things we've seen have Cloud Nine. I'm just gonna c continue just attack this thing with every possible type I have. Because why the heck not? Also, while we're looking at that, we should probably super potion up Happy in sh in, cl in case shit gets crazy. We need to make sure that Happy's full health because that thing. Is for sure gonna save our lives. Uh, we need to go. We need to go down that and grab that there item. It's probably gonna be something good. There's also another item there. Man, I'm really, I'm really blowing it on picking up the items, man. We can't actually. I missed this one. Hold up. We need to. <laughs> I need to get this item. I guess we can see what else is in the grass. There is a bar ball, wild bar ball, level 26. Literally any other encounter in this area would have been better than what I freaking ended up with, but. You know, Ricky, that's sometimes, that's the way she goes. That's the way of the road, Rick. What the fuck is it? A Fiant! This thing would have been badass. I... Bruh. I would have loved to have a Fiant. This thing is awesome, dude. And we can't escape. It's gonna hit us with a flame burst. Oh, shit. Okay, this thing's scary. Fiant, don't want to fuck with it. I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. Do not fuck with the Fiants. Dude, this thing is like a... What? We can't run from it again? What? what the, Happy can't even run from it? What's going on here? We're just going to kill you with a bubble beam then, buddy. Jesus, this thing is fast as shit. That's why we can't run from it. Oh my god, it almost killed us too. Yo, this Fi Ant is a threat. We're going to knock it out with a crit. Wow, that gave me a heart attack there, buddy. If you killed my Happy, I would have been not that happy. All right, we're just going to use the rest of these supers. One for you. And we'll actually just go ahead and uh, use this your lemonade. Why not? Get you pretty much up to full happy. 102 of 104. All right, let's go ahead and make sure that we don't run into more of those damn things. Okay, we can just go down this way. It does take us to a bright powder, so that's nice. It's actually a move that you use as a hold item, uh, which increases the chance of opponents missing against you, which is nice. I always thought that was an evil ass item. It's like just carry a fucking very shiny bit of powder in your hand so that way it just fucks with their eyes it's evil absolutely evil move stone get out of my way literally the lamest thing on this route could have gotten myself a badass fire type but what did i get a rock normal cow you love to see it okay let's just continue this way which is going to take us to where we need to go i believe but there is that item down that way dude i'm messing up on all the items i feel like tap has a cool shiny form this thing's got to have a cool shiny form. Okay, you know what? We are going to need to go this way because now that I see that item staring me in the face, I can't I can't not get it. Please don't be a Fi Ant. Fuck, it's a Fi Ant. Damn you. <laughs> uh, we can take at least one attack from it, so let's just use our last Ancient Power on it. Uh, we are going to go to level 34 here, which is nice. does almost half with that. Jesus. This thing is a monster. It's probably really frail, though. It's fast and it hits hard, so... Trying to learn Flash Cannon. Ooh, that's what we talking about, buddy. We are, in fact, a special attacker, so we can get rid of um, probably just Metal Claw. I mean, we, we do have Mirror Shot, which I've completely forgotten about, but that's fine. We're just going to get rid of Metal Claw, and we good. Marvin grows to level 26, looking nice, buddy. Okay, so we'll go down here, and then we're just going to go down here, and this better be a good item. Hey, it's TM69, so okay, even though it's just Rock Polish... At least we got TM69. We'll freaking take it. Okay, uh, so we got that guy there. We head down this way. And there's some freaking cops. What's going on over here? Sorry, you can't pass to the jewel mine. There was an accident at the workers area. Well, damn. Cannot go that way. But what we can do is battle this bug guy. Every day, I train in battle. Fun stuff. So old Joe here just has one Pokemon. Of course it's a Viant. Level 28. We do not have... The right shit for this thing. Uh, we're out of ancient powers. It's really annoying how ancient power only has 5 PP, but 
We'll just go ahead and bring in Happy here on a signal beam, which freaking hurts, man. This thing's only level 28. Why are you doing so much damage with that? God, and it's so fast. This is a fucking Nuzlocke killer right here. Oh my god, we actually get confused. Please don't hit yourself, Happy. Please don't. Please, please. No, we do. Whew! Knocks us down to 10 HP. Sweet Jesus. We are in our, a little bit of a predicament here, are we? Let's go into Dracula. I think we could probably, if it decides to signal beam again... No, it's actually neutral because we're dark flying. Oh, Jesus Christ. Single beam. Okay. We can take... We can take anything here. We actually are faster with Dracula because we're a freaking bat. And we're able to knock it out. So. Man. These bug catchers really be... On the glow up these days now that Fi Ants are around. Well, let's go ahead and use a nice little hyper potion on you, little buddy happy. There you go. And then do we have one super left? We have two left. We're going to use that on our friend Dart. And uh, alrighty then. So, there is a cut tree which leads to an item. We'll go ahead and snippety snap that down. What is it? It is Venashock. So that's a poison move that does more damage if the opponent is poisoned, which is kind of cool. We now arrive at Route 7, where we can actually catch something new. And that's great news, because there's a chance that we could get something really good. Because it seems like this area is just chock full of good shit. So we'll snag that Rostberry. And then, uh... Ooh, there's even some more berries here. Would you look at that? Oh, just ap apricorns, I mean. We'll take the white ones and just leave the blue ones, because heck it. But, uh, alright guys, we're going to end the episode here. Next time we're going to see what we can get on this new area. And, oh, wait, false alarm. I just walked into something. It's you. Ma'am, we're about to end the episode. I saw your battle with that red-haired guy in Dockingport. Seems to be a rough guy, but he's a good trainer. Anyways, how about a battle? I've trained hard, and I want to show you what I've learned. Let's do it. Well, alright. Never mind, we apparently are not ending. We're about to battle freaking Kira. I was not expecting this. Jesus, okay. She's coming at us with five Pokemon. She leads off with a Rubio. Level 26. We do want to get Dart the hell out of here because Rubio is a... Um, I think it's ground fighting. Which is actually really scary for us. Let's go into Dracula and see what this thing wants to do. Dart don't really have any business staying in here. So we'll go into Dracula. It's just going to low sweep. Freaking ouch. It does hurt. Lowers the old speed. Um, but we should definitely, I think, heal up here just to scout out. Make sure this thing's not going to do anything too crazy. We'll just go for a super. Please, Rubio. Spare me, sir. More low sweeps. Okay. That's fine. Speeds be dropping, but that's okay. We can just go for a crunch here. We're going to be able to do a lot of damage, plus we'll get some HP back. Is the speed guaranteed to drop every time? Jesus. Just kicks me in my fucking legs. Makes me slower. And uh, that doesn't quite knock it out, but we can now just finish you off with one more. Now it's going to smack down. Oh, Jesus. Super effective, but we're able to take it. Fell straight down. We good, though. One more little cruncheroo is going to kill your kangaroo. And okay, one down at least. My god. Why are you going to hit me with a battle, a rival battle in the middle of the route? Like, my god. Okay, next is the Nimblo. Um, for Nimblo, we can just go ahead and... I really wish I had ancient powers with Dart. I don't, though. So for Nimblo, let's just go into Happy. I think we'll be safe with this thing. Uh, the old scoop ice cream probably doesn't have much for Happy. Although, is this thing just... Is it water flying? I don't even... I don't even heck a no. Let's go for an Aurora Beam. It's going to Vacuum Wave. Really? This thing has Vacuum Wave? What the fuck? Why do you have a fighting move? Okay, Aurora Beam is super effective. So I think it's just flying. Well, either way, the Nimblo goes down. We go to level 36. Next is a Spony. Freaking Spony. We will switch out on the Spony. Um, I think that's just the Grass-type Pony. We do have a Spony. I should probably probably should know more about this damn thing. It's only level 27, though. Let's just go for it. How much is Bug Bomb? I always forget what Bug Bomb even is. Uh, we're already in, actually. I meant to click Summary. So, Bug Bomb is 70, whereas Bug Bite's 60. So... And Bug Bomb also can leave the target with something. I don't remember what the hell it is. Was it paralyzed? I don't know. We're going to go for a Bug Bomb, though, on the old Spony. And it leaves it with one HP. Are you serious? Oh, we actually get the paralysis, so it can leave, yeah, can't leave it parried. Goes for a Leaf Tornado, which does, like, one HP damage. And uh, we're going to kill you with a Crunch. See you later, Spony. 
What else we got? Marvin does grow to level 27. We're looking pretty nice. Next is a Purio. Okay, there's the damn... There's the starter. We are we are going to need to... You know, Dart would probably be good here. I think Dart needs the experience. Although it is the starter, so maybe I should have gone happy here. Okay, Purio. I don't know what the hell type this thing is. I really wish I had Ancient Powers, but we're just going to Rock Slide. Dusty Dash. What the fu... Oh. No. <laughs> No! As Dusty Dash, what the fuck, man? What even is that? That should not be allowed. And we do go down. So that's fantastic. We killed Dart. Why is it at the end of episodes I always manage to kill everything I love? I should not have gone into that thing in the first place because I knew I didn't have ancient powers. But fucking goddammit. Now this thing's gonna try to will o wisp and miss. I killed Dart. That's like my second favorite damn Pokemon. Dude, I hate my life. I think he's only level 29. I thought I could handle it. How did that kill me? What the f- <laughs> The next is the Pixlily. So, for Pixlily, we are really running low on shit to use, man. Let's just stay in here. We, we gotta let Happy finish this off. This rival battle could not have come at a worse time. I seriously was not expecting this. I could have been more healed up. It's gonna go for a psychic. This thing is so ugly. Please die. Damn it, Kira. You bitch. Well, so we beat her. I enjoyed it. I bet you did enjoy killing my little dinosaur boy. You're still the best. Let me heal your Pokemon. So she does heal us up, except I killed Dart. And, uh, man. It's looking like next episode I'm gonna need to grind up because my team. My team is now, at this point, looking pretty garbage. Every episode, I killed the next coolest thing. So, it looks like Happy is pretty much going to die next episode if we stay on task here. My god, Dart. I'm sorry, buddy. So, we did kill Dart. And, uh, we're going to need to... Going to need to go ahead and bury that thing. We'll do it next episode. But, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, tune in next time to see which of your favorite Pokemon I kill next. Oh wait, he's holding something. He has a lot, one last potion. He's like, you should have used this on me, little bastard. Man.